Hi, I'm Leoma Lovegrove, and I'm here in Mount Lachey, Florida, and I'm here to save the monarchs in Florida. So I, I've been doing this now for only a month, and I've really learned a lot on YouTube, but what got me started is I learned that they're endangered. So I had a butterfly uh, flight cage built, and I had all this stuff, and then something horrible happened. I uh, went to a farmer's market, and I bought some milkweed. You, you know, as you, I don't know if you know this, but monarchs will only lay eggs and eat on milkweed. This is like the harvest, the a host plant. So I have probably uh, raised from an egg, maybe 60 monarchs since I've started. Now I've only been at this a month, but you know, we're here in Florida, the weather's always wonderful and you know, butterflies are plentiful. So I made this butterfly garden and then a horrible thing happened. They started dying and I'll tell you why. I went to a flea market or a farmer's market and bought some milkweed. Now, the nurseries in Florida, only in Florida, and you're probably not gonna like to hear this, but they do have a major kill. They have to, by law, they have to uh, chemical and kill the bugs to get rid of viruses. And at first I was kind of upset about that, but now I see why, because obviously they didn't do it. And now the caterpillar, monarch caterpillars are dying. In fact, I don't know if you can see this right here, but I found another one this morning. <clears throat> and what I believe it is, it's a OE virus. Now I'm gonna have another video explaining what that is. So I found out how to treat it. And again, in another video, if you want to learn about all of that, I'm gonna show you the formula, but this is what I did. Instead of just doing a few leaves, I'm having to do all my plants. So I have just, I dug up a bunch of them that I had just planted. And what I did first is I cut them. Oh, they're heavy. I cut them in half. And that way I could take them and dip them in this bleach formula, which I'll tell you right now is 6.4 ounces and you have to be exact in a gallon of water. And all I did, I have a gallon of water I got from the local store and I took out 6.4 ounces of water and then I just replaced it with bleach. And, and uh, since I'm doing such large amounts, I'm using these big garbage cans. So I uh, got all those ready and it's kind of neat. Here they are right here. Here's the half of a lot of these plants. These have been treated. Uh, even the eggs, if you go just one minute, the eggs that are on these leaves, because uh, monarchs are laying their eggs continually here in Florida, but it doesn't hurt them. They'll still be okay and it kills the OE virus. So that's my whole plan to make my whole garden, butterfly garden, virus free. So it took a while because I have a lot of plants. So anyway, so now, now I'm getting ready to do these, but I'm like, how am I gonna dunk those? So what I did, I took them out and I put them in bags, just shopping bags. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to, for one minute, and I have my timer on my watch, and I'm going to dunk them in the mixed, pre-mixed uh, bleach formula, water bleach formula. And this is clear water. This is just regular water, and then this is the bleach formula. So I'm gonna dunk them for one minute. Stick with me for one minute. I've got my timer here. And you know, and actually what I learned too is aphids, uh, aphids actually get on these plants and they suck the energy and all the nutrients out of the plant. So I try to get rid of them, but this bleach solution has gotten actually rid of them, which is kind of good. So I don't have to worry about those. So after one minute, I'm gonna put it in the water and I will be virus free. Uh, that plant right there uh, that had that we're focusing in on that has the dead uh, caterpillar on it. I actually trying to keep that far from everything. It's just here for the video, but normally I have that quarantine. Even the um, the caterpillars that are turning into chrysalis now, I have those quarantine. I don't want anything coming into this new uh, mixture. Okay, and I'm done with one minute. And now I'm going to rinse this, rinse it in the water. And I've got a lot of water here. And then 
I'm gonna plant these back in the um, in my butterfly garden right away. So that's it right there. I'm gonna set these down. I've got several more to do. And I think that's it for now. Um, the bees, actually, uh, bees are kind of a culprit too. Bees are good. I don't, you know, I let them come around, but they will sting the caterpillar. Here's one right here. Now, here's another thing. It, it, it the, with the OE virus, I'm still learning. And a lot of people up north, they actually um, euthanize them. And that's what I'm checking into. I'm gonna call the uh, state of Florida, Florida State University and ask them, what are you doing with monarchs that have this OE virus? And it may be just let them go, I don't know, but I'm not gonna euthanize anything yet until I know it's gonna be healthy for the monarchs because I want to save the monarchs. And I'll see you in the next video.